Hi, I'm Liz from the Gaia Project, and I'm here today to show you how to use the Explorer GLX multi-purpose data logger. A data logger is something that you use to collect different types of data. In order to turn it on, you can press the power button that's located at the bottom of the device. You can use this data logger to collect data about such things as the temperature of a glass of water using this temperature probe. You also have available all kinds of other different sensors as well. Things to measure voltage and current, sound, light, and weather. It's pretty awesome. Once you have the Explorer GLX on, there are two more important buttons that I'm going to tell you about. We have the Home button that's located right there. Use this to navigate to the home screen while you have access to 12 different menus. When you're on the home screen, you can navigate using the arrow buttons. So the first thing that's going to help your future self out a lot is to save and name a file. So if you go into data files by pressing the check mark and you press the check mark again, that's going to allow you to use the keypad to call your file something that's going to mean something to you later. So right now, if you see in the square brackets, it says the file's open and not saved. We're going to press F2 to save that file. Now that you have a file saved, the next step is to tell the GLX how often you want it to collect a sample. We're going to be collecting temperature samples with this fancy temperature probe that you see right here. And it's going to be really important to your future self to figure out how often you want to collect a sample because you don't want to be overwhelmed by having way too much data or needing to do your experiment again because you haven't collected enough data. In order to do that, we're going to enter sensors from the home screen and we're going to figure out how many samples we want to collect per time interval. So to pick the time interval, or here it's called sample rate unit, we're going to press the check mark, which is going to give us a drop down box where we can choose either samples per second, seconds, minutes, or hours. We're then going to go down to the sample rate, or the number of samples, and press the check mark again. And here we can choose the number of samples that we're going to collect per time interval that we just chose. So here we're going to collect 10 samples per second. <laughs> 5,000 samples per second! Five thousand samples per second was not a good idea. <laughs> now that I have my Explorer GLX all set up, it's time to begin collecting some data. For example, I'm interested in the temperature of this room overnight, which I'm going to collect with this temperature probe. In order to set this up, I can navigate to the graph submenu from the home screen, press check mark, and there, if I press the play button, I can then begin my data collection. In order to see it in a bit more detail, we have the auto scale function down here, F1, which now allows you to see your data collection in real time. From this screen, you also have a couple more options such as viewing two data series on the same graph, viewing two separate graphs, or viewing data from multiple probes at the same time. For more details on completing this process, you can visit our website for the quick start guide for the Explorer GLX at www.thegaiaproject.ca, or you can send us an email call us up or send us a courier pigeon, although he might have a bit of trouble getting in through the window. So in order to export the data, we're going to do that in table format. So under the home screen, we're going to navigate down to table, enter that pressing the check mark, and you can see that the first column is already populated with our temperature or dependent variable. So what we're going to do is press the check mark again, navigate over to the second column, Press the check mark and pick time or our independent variable to populate the second column. Now in order to export it, we're going to press F4 or the tables option and you can see option number 8 is to export all data and there's a little picture of USB key. So we're going to add that to the side of the, the GLX and navigate down to that option. And here we're going to press OK and it's going to save our data as a text file. And data export is complete. So now we're ready to go to, ex to import that into a program such as Microsoft Excel.
So hopefully now the Explorer GLX and all of the options that come with it make a little bit more sense to you. And if you forget anything, of course you can watch the video again, or check our quick start guide, or get in touch. Carrier pigeon! Or phone, or email. Good luck.